Well, this was a campaign we started last year at Armed Forces Day in Falmouth. We launched this wreath thanks to the Royal Navy and local veterans, and it's already had a special journey there. It travelled by sea, air and land. It had a hitch the ride with a Royal Navy patrol boat, was then airlifted off by one of the Merlins from Kuldros, and then took a, a final ride in a World War II jeep into the Armed Forces village in Falmouth. And from there, it's basically toured as many D-Day sites in Cornwall as we could get it to and other parts of um, the UK. And it is one of eight wreaths that we've got that are doing similar sort of journeys from England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. We've also got one that represents Canada, the United States, um, the NATO countries and the Commonwealth. A, we've got different coloured wreaths and this was made by Battling On in Cornwall and by their veterans and each colour basically you've got the standard red poppy which most of us associate with Flanders Fields um, and is obviously a powerful symbol of remembrance. We've got the black poppy that represents Commonwealth troops from around the world. The white poppy is for peace and for those that may have realised, wondered what this was around me, um, I'm an ex-military dog handler by trade so the purple represents the animals of war and in particular because this one's going to Pegasus Bridge um, on D-Day, sadly, was a military working dog attached to the parachute regiment and his handler that was sadly killed. And we always go and pay respects there every year. So the purple ones represent the animals. Remembrance is any and every day, really. It, there's so many anniversaries sometimes that we remember. And to, it keeps us alive. My own uncle landed on D-Day, for example. So this will take a, a trip down the canal to Pegasus Bridge, which is exactly what he did on D-Day. So for me personally, it's got that link, but chatting to many of the people that have seen the wreath, they've all got their stories. You know, and Cornwall is packed with hidden history of the build-up to D-Day. You know, you can still see the ramps in sort of Falmouth and Tree Bar Gardens and places like that, that that legacy will probably be there for an eternity.